how to guys well you guys may have known what this how to is well how to of course tells you how to do well, something yeah Ooh. so for this today's how to it's something for moms so for the moms out there like my mom well, if you have a mom who cooks the same food over and over and over again, so you better be watching this right now. So I'm gonna tell you how to stop your parents your mom making the same. So step one is what you're gonna do is well, so is go online. Of course, go online on the computer, but. My computer right there. Do I have one tag it? So go on. I should just move my my left hand. Okay. So go on the computer and just type up rest see rep like recipes that they could be in your house. But mostly based on just mostly based on just based on the what food category like breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Based on like where your mom or dad or parents cook the same food every day. Like, if your mom cooks the same, like, breakfast every day, same here, she always cook eggs, I'm tired of it, then search stuff for breakfast. See, for lunch, well, we don't care about lunch, sometimes we go to McDonald's or, or we just, like, take some burgers or just go out and eat to restaurants. And, and lunch and dinner, mostly dinner in my house. We eat the same food every single day. We eat white rice every day with stew with meatballs. Something she changed it up is white rice with stew, but with chicken. I'm like, come on, it's still white rice. I'm tired of eating white rice. I really want to eat something else. So, yeah. So, um, search up foods from, it doesn't have to be those, like, lunch, breakfast and dinner for me, like how my mom, most of my mom cooks. Like, my mom always, like, eat, cook the same food over and over. It could be lunch. Maybe something for you to eat for yourself. Maybe lunch. And I do have recipes right now. Let me just organize the re re these recipes. I actually, I'm making sure. Just to make sure if I have all of them. A few of them is for me. Actually, I did look up a few recipes though. I did actually. I did look up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, but but actually, these recipes actually because my school had like the third annual literacy extra, whatever you call it. What like after school they have all the families come and look through all the authors, nearby authors, look at the books, buy their books if they want. I didn't buy any books. My mom told me. My mom was like, my mom was like, don't don't buy don't buy anything. I got I got no money. I'm like, no, of course you don't got no money. So yeah. So on to step two. So step two is um, you have to look at these. Like the recipes really close. Just find like what I said about part one, find recipes that you really love. Look at the ingredients. Make sure you have these ingredients at home. So you I'm just cause it's just stupid sometimes. Like I know a lot of people, they always do this. I'm not saying they're stupid. I'm not saying those people are stupid, but I'm just saying. A lot of people sometimes always just goes like in, they just like take whatever they just find it, print it out. Ooh. Oh, oh. I heard music, I heard great music, and I was like, oh, oh, this weirdness. Okay, so, <laughs> so, I was saying, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I, so, they just, like, print out the recipe, and then, just look at the ingredients, but they don't have that ingredient, so they just go out and buy some. I just don't want them to waste their money, I just don't want you guys to waste your money. Just, just in case, I want you guys to look, to look in them. 
if you absolutely absolutely know that you have that ingredient then check on that but i know since one time actually one time um one time i remember um i wanted to bake cupcakes and i had every from scratch not from like, the box in the box i had every ingredient every single ingredient except one the most important ingredient flour i didn't have flour well actually actually i had like two bags of two bags of flour one flour was completely empty there was no flour left like say like a teaspoon left a teaspoon left and then i went to the other one the other one was expired and then i saw there was ants inside them i'm like mom you keep this why do you keep this if you don't if you don't know if it's expired if it's expired throw them out it was disgusting. There was ants or little like insects inside them. And disgusting. There was eggs too, and I was like, oh nope, nope. Close it. Throw it out. Boom. I'm done. So just check for them. And mostly, like what I said, check if you really. It's based on the food. Like mostly the title. The title will actually say. Most of the what well, the food is called is mostly what's gonna ha what's in the food mostly so most of the times like grilled cheese of course it's gonna be cheese in it. Question I told you my school thing, uh, my my home ec teacher Miss Merrill, uh, had this uh, eggplant parmesan. What's it called? What's it called? Yeah, eggplant parmesan. I tasted it. It tasted really good. Really, really good. I, wanted, I, I took another one from her. And so she had more recipes out, so I took as much recipes I can get, get but I couldn't. So, uh, yeah, and I'll show you those recipes in part three, which is right now. Part three is oh, not part three. What am I saying? Step three. If I if I said part two before, I, really, I feel really stupid. Did I say that before? Wait a minute. Did I say part three before? Okay, so I checked back. I did not say part two. I said step two actually. So yeah. Um. So just look at the recipe. Mostly follow the instructions. Well, the directions are the same thing. And that's it. Uh, here is few recipes. Uh, my school said. Look, look at it cool, but this is for a carrot. Okay, I'm gonna do a close up. I'm gonna do a picture. And then here it goes for a uh, carrot cake. And here's the directions. You can read the directions. I'm trying to show it. I, I, I can't see what if it's showing you or not. It was like, it's covering the camera. So, so for a carrot cake, I may do that. I may do this. Um, For all you people from Italy, because for all you people from Italy, Italy don't look at this one because I think you guys already know how to do this. So. But you, if you're not from Italy, Italian meatball. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Italian meatball. Boop. I feel so special every time I do this. Boop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this one, this is the one I really want to do, so I'm going to try to ask my mom to do it. But right now, we're still eating rice. Okay. That was disgusting. Please I did. Uh, okay. Chicken curry, I really want to do this. I love it. I really want to do that. And this is the one I said. Oh, for also the carrots. It told you to have how to make the frosting. This one me. It said how to make the Mariana sauce. I was like, ooh, really? Okay. But this is the eggplant parmesan. Uh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. 
okay. This is a long time ago, my friend gave me for Valentine's. You can't see me. <laughs> That's so sad. In the day with my dad. The fuck are you? <laughs> Is that Dylan Sprouse? Hi. Clothes? <laughs> Bye guys. I'm gonna take a selfie. I literally can't see anything in these goggles. I love that selfie. That was good. Okay. Bye guys.